What's up guys, this is a tutorial video on SugarWad. This is the app we use at the gym to track your workouts and to view them the night before. So I'm gonna click into it. It's the blue uh, icon with the white barbell. So when you click into it, you're gonna see a picture of some of our gym members at the top. Um, you're gonna see a warm up, the strength workout, and the wad right below, so the conditioning. If you don't recognize some of the movements, there's a prepare button at the bottom of the workout of the day. You can click on that and it will take you to some YouTube videos that you can uh, look over just to review. Even if you don't look over the videos, the coach is gonna be helping you, so no worries either way. If you want to score your workout, you're gonna click on log your results, orange button, and then I'm just gonna put in um, just a made up time today, um, but you'll put your time in, and then you have to click RX or scaled or it won't let you save it. So um, here, and I'm just gonna write test, just so it's not a real score. Um, once I've done that, and I, I can click save. Now, if there's any notes that I wanna write in here, um, any kind of modifications I made, you can do that there in case you wanna look back on it. Click save. And now that I've saved my workout, it will populate on the whiteboard. So under results, if you click on that button, you're gonna see um, your time come up on the whiteboard. So if you're a woman, it's gonna populate the women up top and then below and vice versa for the men. So you can kind of scroll see through and see that everyone um, that worked out that day and scored will be in there. If I want to go in and give one of my friends a fist bump, I can click on their name, click on the fist bump. I can also type them a message and that will send a push notification to them. So that's kind of fun just to encourage your fellow um, wad killers out there. Okay, as far as the levels go, um, in the workout, if you're new to this, uh, we have level one, two, and three. Level one is our beginner level athlete, uh, our beginner athletes level. Uh, level two is where most of our athletes, I would say, work out. That's more of like a performance line. And level three is more of our competitors. Um, so also, if you just want an active recovery day and you want to do level one, feel free to do that at any time. We have some members that do that. So the scaling options um, are listed right after the levels. The first number you're gonna see is gonna be the men's weight and the second number is the women's weight. On level three, you're gonna see an M and then a men's weight and a women's weight. That is our uh, 40 plus division. So if you're over 40 and you wanna do this as hard as possible, that's gonna be your prescribed weight. Um, also, if you're over 50, the level two is actually your prescribed weight. So um, you can mark your score as RX if you do the level two weights um, and you're over 50. Let's see, you will get a push notification around 5 p.m. At the night before that will tell you what the workout is the next day, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you gotta make sure your notifications are turned on for that, so in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see notifications, and then the top right-hand corner, the little settings, click on there, and you just make sure those things are toggled over correctly. And I think that's about it. You can also, um, if you go back to the whiteboard and go to the top, if you want to score previous days, like maybe you forgot to score your workout the day before, um, if you click onto the picture, if you click onto the left side of the picture, it'll go back to the previous day. If you click onto the right side, it can go forward um, if you wanna view the workout for the next day. And um, that's about it. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to ask your coach um, and we will help you out.